Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Regular Personality on FAF, or Film Analysis Friday. You're probably not watching this on Friday, but if you are, congratulations. Go buy a lot of ticket, because either this is luck, or um, you actually keep up with my channel. Which, actually, now that I think about it, is probably just a coincidence. Anyway, anyways, let's continue on with my flathead of adorableness. <laughs> Why am I saying this? I'm literally I'm literally recording this at 11:41 at night. Uh man. Anyway, um, uh, we're going to continue on with film analysis Friday. We're going to be talking about the infamous hero's journey. Wait, you don't know who that is? You mean you don't know the 10 to 12 steps guideline that almost every good movie follows? No. Well, that's not what this video is about, so click the link in the description before watching the rest of this video so it actually makes sense. Anyways, let's get to the movie that we're going to analyze for a hero's journey guideline. This movie is so amazing that I literally just wanted to do this the second I, I thought of this because, you know, it fits perfectly. You know, you know what's going to come next, right? The amazing and insightful actions and adventures of... Happy Gilmore... Happy, Happy Gilmore, yeah, Happy Gilmore. That's that's the one we're doing. Uh, but Tanner, don't the movies that we have to talk about uh, have to do with like wizards or Jedi's or no? We can do whatever we want. This is America. Believe it or not, Happy Gilmore follows the uh, the exact measurements for a hero's journey. Now let's embark on the treacherous journey through the world of Happy Madison Productions. <laughs> step zero, status quo. Yeah, it's step zero because uh, reasons. Happy Gilmore is a failed hockey player constantly trying out for a hockey team he'll never make and struggling through life without a steady source of income. And if that isn't bad enough, his girlfriend left him, so uh, yeah, his uh, life sucks. Step 1. Call to Adventure Happy comes to his grandmother's house and finds that everything that she owns is being taken back by the government because of her $250,000 in back taxes. This leads Happy on a search for answers and all while being depressed in more ways than one. Then comes Chubbs, an old retired golfer with no right hand and an eye for potential. He sees Happy's toughness and eventually convinces him to play for the pro tour with the chance of winning enough money to get his grandmother's house back. Uh, this part of the movie is really smooshed together, so we're going to describe it as such, so no specific step. Anyway, they start their training by departing on the first part of their adventure, the qualifiers for the Pro Tour. Chubbs tries to help Happy with his skills, and they find out that with Happy's hockey swing, he can hit the ball over 400 yards. With, that's like uh, four football fields, so pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Um, uh, yeah. Um, though while that is an amazing feat, there is a lot of doubters as his styles are unconventional. And by unconventional, I mean, uh, uh, watch this. You bitch! You fucking play where it lies! Fuck you! So, yeah, Happy has to deal with a lot of haters with his unconventional methods as they laugh behind his back. But they pay for it with Happy's hockey combat skills, am I right? <laughs> uh... I'm tired. Step one, uh, step uh, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Step five, approach. As previously mentioned, Happy's approach is in his hockey playing style and 400 yard bomb of a drive. So uh, we've already covered it. So, so yeah, we don't have to talk about it anymore. So I'm not going to. Step six, crisis. Chubbs is pleased with his trainee's performance, but now wants to delay Happy's entrance into the tour because he wants him to develop more as a golfer. But Happy goes on anyway because he just wants the money to buy off his, you know, grandma's house. And uh, after this, he runs into his biggest threat to the title, Shooter McGavin. One day, Happy comes to find that the bank has already sold his house and the buyer... Wait, get guess, right now. If you guessed it was Shooter, then you're right because he, he bought his house, you know... I don't know why, but you know, we'll, we'll see anyway. Getting closer to the end of the tour, Happy comes back to Chubbs for advice. Chubbs gets Happy a gift of a hockey stick sh shaped putter. Oh my god, it took me so it took me so long to try to pronounce that. Hockey stick shaped putter. It's it's actually pretty cool, so um, I'm going to continue. Um in favor uh, in fa uh, in return um Happy gets him the head of the alligator that bit off his right hand. And in shock 
Chubbs falls out a window. Um, yeah, he's dead. Step seven, treasure, and eight, result. Wow, we're actually, uh, we're actually keeping track. I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, Steve, Steven, did you, did you keep track of this? Because you, okay, never mind, okay, never mind. Happy determined to win the tour for Chubbs, starts the final part of the tour to defeat Shooter. He goes all the way to where he's battling with Shooter for the pro title, and Happy beats Shooter with a climactic putt off of falling scaffolding that landed in the middle of the course, and it takes about uh, maybe 50 ricochets and slides, and it's it's a really cool trade of events. I, I, you'll just have to watch it when I put it in the video. And uh, he wins the jacket. Um, this, this signals the end, so yeah. Final steps are return and new life. The film ends with Happy at his grandmother's house being congratulated by the ghost of Chubbs, Abraham Lincoln, and the alligator. Then they lived happily ever after. Uh, sadly, we could not get this footage because it was simply too awesome for the internet. So, uh, yeah, uh, see you guys later. Hope you subscribe and um, please like this video, share it if you enjoyed it yourself. So, um, peace out, British.